These days the main treatment for cancer is still chemotherapy uh, and that's really a, a very sledgehammer approach. You really uh, affecting many different cells and it would be really nice if you can use some of the immune system's potential uh, to target much more specifically the diseased cells. Hey there, how's it going? Yen and Bryson and his team study the body's own killer cells white blood cells that specialize in locating and killing sick cells. But these cells uh, definitely protect the body. Um, they're, they're a range of different cells, but they all use the same uh, method for, for killing uh, target cells or cells that are sick. And, uh, and uh, what we know is that if you have a defect in the system, you become, uh, you can become uh, deadly sick within your first year of life. In here we keep uh, various cells. We have uh, different cell lines that we measure how well uh, the, uh, the white blood cells are able to kill. And then we have here small chambers here with cells from different patients here numbered. Density 45 array, okay. So you got this. The team already has small patients from around the world. Newly borns whose lives are saved through correct diagnosis. Through our recent work, we've come more and more in contact with doctors and, and even patients and families. And, and in one part, we're working with, with patients with uh, defective immune systems and, and uh, some really family tragedies in, in some cases. We can much more rapidly identify these patients, uh, provide them with the correct treatments, and thereby save lives. Uh, in terms of cancer, I think uh, that's a disease that uh, really affects many more people and, and uh, of course uh, that's a main a major driver for us is to find better cures uh, but that's also a task that that really has to be done in a huge worldwide collaboration. There are different labs all around the world that are working out directly manipulating their target cell specificity uh, so that one can tell them uh, so to speak how to uh, identify uh, cancer cells and to specifically eradicate uh, cancer cells. It's a very fine balance there between attacking just sick cells uh, and, and not attacking uh, your own healthy cells uh, because as these have very potent uh, effective functions they really can cause a lot of damage as well so they have to be tightly controlled. That's yeah. fantastic. And uh, the next step um, mini this? prep sequencing and then we're ready to go. Okay. A discovery is, is often not, uh, not done uh, just in a single day or, or through a single experiment. It's really a, a small, or it's a series of, of um, uh, consecutive experiments. It's a path one takes. Right. Okay, very good. Good luck. Thank you very much. You know, I think one really has to try to find uh, the, the moments all along the way. And, uh, and savor them uh, as well, because uh, there are many days when, when results are not quite as, as good as one would hope for, and, and uh, the mood from the lab, at least, is, is maybe not uh, uh, quite as uh, exhilarating. It's very gratifying uh, to see that one's research can also help individuals and, and uh, help in, in treatment of, uh, of patients, uh, and often in, in really quite direct uh, ways. Okay.